How you doing my friends and welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you how I went from Gold 2 to Elite 3 in one week and that's coming up next in the FOT School. How you doing my friends? My name is Don TV, or most people just call me Don, and welcome to the FUT School. If it is your first time here, it is an absolute pleasure. Welcome in. Now, as I said in today's video, I'm going to show you how I went from Gold 2 to Elite 3 in one week. Is it possible for to jump two ranks? Um, in one week, yes, it is, and I'm going to show you how I did it and what I what tips I can give you to help you go from one rank to another or two ranks or, just, or maybe what I did from Gold Two to Elite Three, and that's coming up in this video. If you do enjoy this type of content, please don't forget to drop a like before you leave on this video and subscribe, especially if you want to keep in contact with what is going on in the in 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 the foot school. I drop custom tactics, tutorials, all types of videos. So if you want to keep in touch with that, don't forget to subscribe, put the bell on, so you know exactly when this video does go live. And I live stream on Twitch, um, twitch.tv forward slash Don TV. It's Don TV on all my socials. Um, so come and check me out on, especially on Twitch, because that's where I'm going to be live streaming. I live stream Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, where I mostly stream Fuck Champions and have a bit of a chit chat as well. So come and check me out. I would love to see you all there. Okay, so here we have it. This is our, um, we matched up against someone who's doing a Road to Glory team. I'm kind of a bit weary of, of Road to Glory players, if I'm honest with you. Very um, skeptical, because I know they're very good players. They're either good traders or they're very good um players you know road to glory i'm always wary of road to glory teams anyway so i was on my guard i was in as you can see from the bottom of the screen i'm inside of a party with my man butcher and kieran as per usual shout out to the boys um all over the channel to to kieran to butcher to jimmy to george all of the guys and especially everyone who came in the channel on saturday afternoon give me loads and loads of support you would probably think I had an absolute great run in weekend league. I didn't. I started six. And, uh, sorry, I ended Friday, my Friday run on six and four. It, I, it did not look like I was getting a lead, but everyone in the channel was saying, no, Don, you're going to get it. Um, I went, I was like five and seven, Don, and I still got elite three. Everyone was giving me encouragement. Like the likes of uh, my man Jimmy saying, you're going to get elite because obviously he's a Leicester fan. I had Jamie Vardy. I had George who gave me some really sound advice telling me, you know, you know, don't go back to your roots, which is obviously playing a two striker formation. You know, so I had loads and loads of people, and obviously Kieran and Butcher always there in the party for me on Sunday nights, or um, you know, ready to give me some support and telling me to calm down because I was <laughs> offline. I'm, I'm a little bit different because I, I panic a lot, I speak a lot, I talk a lot. I'm, I, you know, I don't, I don't say bad things, but I've got, I, I, I get frustrated a lot. So, but I had Butcher and Kieran telling me to calm down. So we came up against this guy. Now I will tell you exactly what formation I was in. I was actually playing the four-one-two-one-two formation. All right. When I tell you this formation was really, really good for me. Now I wanted to try out, and this I was taking this advice from George, where he said, "Go back to your roots." So go back to formations which you are strong at using. Two striker formations. All right. I was desperate for anything because my usual formations weren't working as well. So I wanted something else that would give me more goals. It give me a lot of protection in defense and a little bit more going forwards and well as well. And the four one two one two really helped me out this weekend and i'm going to show you those the, the custom tactics as well um, i'm going to show you which point you should use this but i actually locked in the 41212 very at the beginning of the game because i kind of felt out my opponent quite early so i kind of, i knew already right 41212 and that's one thing you've got to try and, and suss out very quickly is when you're playing someone and you're trying to figure out how they're defending how they're attacking you got to try and figure out what formation is the right one to use right there from the jump all right you have to know that very very quickly and right there from not even in, in what probably 10 minutes game time i switched to the 41212 and i managed to get my first goal i found my way through and i was like okay fine i found my way through with vardy i know that's a, that's an area where he's very very weak so i'm going to get him I'm going to try keep going and try again. I was very aggressive in my defending as well. And I have to say that you've got to practice pressing the ball. You're defensively, you've got to practice accurately pressing the ball aggressively as well. Because in these games like this, you can't be too passive. All right. Don't be reckless. There's a difference between aggressive, being aggressive and being reckless. You've got to be aggressive, but you've got to make your challenges. Your, when you press the ball, you've got to make it count. All right. And as well, I played Militao as right back. And a lot, I, get, I get a lot of... Um, criticisms for playing players out of position but i play Militao right back i prefer him at right back than um sergio ramos so here in the 4 one 2 one 2 i'm just guarding the middle one thing i will say with the 4 one 2 one 2 use your midfielders to try and cover your space here you can see gerard winnable gerard was absolutely solid for me this weekend my days people are telling me don't play gerard drop gerard when i tell you this man was solid I, i'm there's something about icons right they've got the they just go next level 
not 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 baby icons, but like mid icons. They they're, they're a bit next level. But Gerald was just fantastic for me. So when you're using the four one two one two or the four four two, right? Try and use your strikers or your centre mids to try and help out defending um, to protect your back line. All right, use them to help defend your back line. Okay. So here we're about to get a nice little early rage quit. We're building up for the second goal. And here I'm probing. When you're in these positions, don't be so quick to get the ball forwards, all right? Probe, 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 probe. When an opportunity presents itself, then get your then try and get your shot away. And I did really, really early. We're gonna get a nice little rage quit. As you guys can see, 4-1-2-1-2. And there you have it. A nice, a nice win. I was I didn't want to spend too much time here. And I think I just got, got I went straight into the I got straight out of the menu just in case, you know, the no loss glitch hit me. And I got out, and there you have it right there, boys and girls. Elite three, and it was a nice early rage quit. I don't want to. I don't want to say four one two one two is going to get you a nice early. Rage. So we're going to start from the back and work our way to the top. Our four four one one formation. A lot of people have liked it. A lot of people have disliked it. When I tell you this formation can help you control the game, I've I've tweaked the four four one one since my previous um, custom tactics. All right, I've I've put a video on this. Uh, over the lot of couple of about a month ago now but because there's a new patch it wasn't as strong as what it used to be so with every patch that comes out i will give you i will tell you this guys for future reference for fifa 21 every time a new patch comes out you've got to adjust your tactics all right whether they've changed anything in ultimate team or not adjust your tactics if you feel there's something not wrong all right something didn't feel right with the 4411 so i changed it so drop back for depth so four width, three depth, because again, we want to replicate the overload ball side without losing stamina, all right? Four width, three depth. Offensive style, long ball. So when I do get the ball, when I'm defending, and remember, we want to defend. If you can take a look at Neymar, Gerard, and Allen, right? You want to use those players to defend. Mane and Salah are going to come back and defend. If you want to use them to tie, to, if you can hold on to your left or right midfielders and pull them inside to try and cover that middle because that's where your opponent wants to score most of the time. All right. So, but anyways, I'm using Neymar, um, Gerard, and Allen to try and move the ball and try and protect the so the middle of the pitch and give me a bit of cover as well. Once I do get the ball, long ball, my players are going to start running forward. My left and right midfield is going to start running forward. Um, Vardy, um, Neymar, if Neymar's got the ball, they're going to start running forwards as well, okay? So what, even though you're playing drop back, because the thing about what he says is that your strikers will stay passive, but you may find yourself having less attack, attacking options when you win the ball. So we want to try and counter that. All right, we want to try and counter that, not by staying in, in possession, but by getting long ball. So as soon as we get the ball, Players are making runs in behind, all right? So they're countering the second part of the drop back, which is strikers stay pass. You may find yourself having less attacking options when you win the ball. So we put on the long ball. Now, width. Why is the width three? Um, three? Because the because the, the, the formation is quite wide, all right? It, it just leaves a little bit... They're too far apart for me to pass the ball quite quickly, all right? Sometimes you can play slowly. Sometimes you can play fast. But having it um, having it at five, which is a quite a balanced width, it just leaves them a little bit too far apart because you're already in a wide formation. So I brought it down to three. Players in the box is four because I only want my strikers going. I don't want everyone. And again, the meta this year is always the build up, all right? So we don't want to put it as five. We want to leave it as four because it just gives us a little bit more um uh, in terms of building up now the instructions is just as important okay i've got vardy on stay central getting behind a comeback on defense neymar come back on defense get a box full of cross and conserve interception so i want to conserve neymar's stamina because he does lose stamina quite quickly because he is pretty much bombing up and down up and down up and down very, very a lot okay so you know drop back a long ball drop back so i want to conserve his stamina because i really want him to stay on the pitch throughout the whole game uh, Gerard and um, your two centre mids are going to be stay back, stay back while attacking cover centre. Mane, both Mane and Mohamed Salah are both, so your left and right midfield um, are going to come back on defence and get in the box for the cross. And stay back while attacking on both your full backs as well. Four, 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 sorry, four, four, two, the second version. All right, very attacking formation. Um, I would say the 4-4-2, but again, it gives you the 4-4-2 second version just gives you a little bit more cover, all right? So if, you, if you're not comfortable with the drop back or the 4 4 one, one you really want to get out of your opponent and you want to have a little bit more attacking options and you want that second striker, not in behind, but right next to the um, striker, then obviously go lock in the 4-4-2, the second version, all right? So the play instructions are very simple and I used my Elite 2 custom tactics here, all right? My Elite 2 custom tactics, um, but I, when I got Elite 2 in November, I actually brought them back and kind of tweaked it just a little bit. All right, so I've got Neymar and, and Jamie Vardy on comeback on defense. 
Sadio Mane and Mohamed Salah. Because I'm not in the drop back anymore, I don't want him getting in the box anymore. This is pretty much balanced. Balanced. So come back on defense. Um, Allen and Gerrard are a cut pass and they stay back while attacking and cover center. And the fullbacks will stay back while attacking and obviously come for crosses and sweep a keep on my keep on all of the custom tactics. All right. Now, tactics are as follows balance, balance. One thing that's different um, between the 4 4 2 and the, the these two is is pretty much this the players in the box i'm gonna get that get to that in a minute all right so width is is five depth is three all right so again it covers a bit more of the pitch especially when you're t if you lose the if your opponent loses the ball sorry if you lose the ball you still can cover enough of the pitch because you're in a wide formation depth is on three i've tried i tried the five depth guys i'll be honest with you i tried the five depth and i finished goal two all right fair enough i had too many games to play i had 20 games to play on sunday and i tried the five depth it i was i was conceding too many over the top balls guys i was conceding way too many lb lb wires over the top too many so i dropped it to three and i was conserving a lot more space in behind and it's fine if i want to give up possession that's absolutely fine because i will manually press offensive start balance width again is five because I, again i want to create a little bit more going forwards I'm, i've got two strikers now so i don't want to want, really want to keep people many behind i tried it in three but for some reason five just gave me a little bit more passing option i don't know why the four four two in the five width it gives me a little bit more than the 4411 in three width. It's just in terms of how it feels. Maybe it's because of the the um the fact that in with the four triple the four four one one is long ball. So people are moving in quite quick move people are moving forward quite quickly. So I want to say quite compact because I want a little bit of, I want that tick attacker with the four four one one. But with the four four two I want a bit of a slow build up. Alright I want to control the game and I want to build the play up a little bit slowly. Alright plays in the box is four. Now the reason why I tried it on three now the 4-4-2 in the attacking mentality is actually on players in the box three. The reason why with in, in the in it's four on this one is because of the fact that it's two CDMs and it's sitting already quite deep. All right, you don't want them too deep because when you're going forwards, they're still sitting in your own half. If you're if you're ready in your opponent's box, all right, you want them to come up just a little bit more, just in case you need to recycle the play um, just outside your opponent's box. All right, so I put it on four instead now moving on to the 4-4-2 right as i said before players in the box was on three because we're we're, we're playing with a flat 4-4-2 i've brought it down i've brought it down to three on this one mainly because like i said it's a flat 4-4-2 they're not sitting they're not cdms they're now cm so they're pushing further up the pitch so again it's a bit of a slow build up okay now i've got an impression after press after possession loss because usually when i switch into this formation um it's because i'm i'm, I'm a goal down or it's nil nil i'm applying a bit of pressure or my opponent is 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 when I lose the ball in their half, they're just so slow. They keep the ball in defense, and they're not. They don't want. They you know they're they're then the, the build up is slow. They're very possession based. They're just passing the ball from fullback to fullback. Press after possession locks. I want to get the ball back. All right. The depth has gone up a little bit more because I want to get the ball now. I want to play. I want to be more attacking. And the width is still on five. Offensive style is still balanced. You can choose a, choose long ball if you want to, but again, it's about the slow build up. So I kept it as balanced. Width is five. Players in the box is three. As I said before, because it's because they're now they're no longer CDMs, they're now CMs. All right, you want to keep the balance. You want to keep your CMs in the right position. So if you do lose the ball, say for example your striker has the ball, they get tackled, and the ball bounces back. Your CMs will still be there to recycle the play. You don't want to have it as four because you're not too far up the pitch. But three is just as fine. It's absolutely fine. All right. Um, corners, corners, and free kicks is on two. Um, again, be wary when you have your corners on two because you can get hit from the counter. But hopefully by now you guys know how to defend, right? Right, and here comes the four one two, the four one two one two. Now, offensive start I've put on balance. Width is five, uh, depth is again three. All right, again I don't because because I'm playing quite fast. I was going to go in. I was thinking about going into drop back. But again, at the same time, it, it, it just leaves my players a bit too passive. And I tried it in balance, and I loved it in balance. If I'm honest with you, I really loved it because. I, I tried this in Div Rivals and I played three just before I played my set of um, just before I played my set of weekly games. I tried in balance. I thought it was brilliant. I played three Div Rival games. I won three Div Rival games. I didn't want to change anything, guys. All right. So I played five. Um, sorry, um, balance, five width, three depth long ball all right i want to play i want to get the ball forwards now you guys saw the example i was moving the ball forwards i wanted to play width is on five players in the box is on six 
all right i want my my strikers i want my my um my cams in the box moving very very so you've got to be able to play quite quickly and if you if you're someone who can play very very fast and wants that tick attack of football then this is the way you, this is how you want to play be careful because in um in delay it doesn't allow you to play tick attack when i played it when i'm in playing in delay all right i usually i stick to the 442 all right, it's easier to play in the 442, but if the if there is mad mad delay, guys, I wouldn't recommend this formation. All right, but if you are if you if you do want to get the ball forwards and you want to play and you want to get behind very very quickly, this is the one. Now, player instructions: Neymar and Vard, Neymar and Vardy, um, just getting behind, nothing else, nothing change, nothing's going to change. I don't, I, re I I I I know a, a few custom tactics. I've put a lot of instructions on them, but I've, I've I'm come to terms now that the less instructions you give your players, the more the better it is because you don't want your tactics to to counteract your instructions. So getting behind because obviously we're a long ball. Mane is on stay forward. Mohamed Salah and Gerard is um everything's on balance now what you're going to find out right is the fact that when you leave them on balance and cover wing they kind of act as like left or right midfielders because our width is on five so it leaves if if, if anything it's this is if you look at the map um, just behind my head this is the four one two one two all right it's the four one two one two so you basically see where where muhammad salah my left and right my left center mids and my right center mids they're going to be practically acting as wingers if you want to come more inside a little bit then you can as you can see we come a little bit tighter and it looks more like the 4-1-2-1-2 but here we want to keep them keep it at five because they are going to be actually acting as wingers now gerard is not exactly the fastest but he when i tell you this man done a job for me all right this man done a job for me boys and girls all right so um they will get back and they will get forward as well mohammed salah's got a lot of stamina I think he's a high medium as well. I mean, he's not very good defensively, but again, it's a nice little balance here. Gerard and Allen are quite defensive. Mane and Salah are quite attacking as well. I would recommend having all-rounded set in the mids where Salah is and Gerard is, right? Just to give yourself a little bit more. So if they need to be quite fast, get your uh, Mitchell v. Savage. Oh, God, I can never say his name right. A Savage, for example, or a Pogba, those type of players who are fast, who have very good defensive stats, very good attacking stats as well, but I didn't have it on this occasion. I, I had that in Gerrard somewhat, uh, but I had more attacking in Salah. Um, Allen, I had, Allen, I kept Allen at cut passing lanes. I think for me, whenever it's, whenever I have CDMs, if you look for my 4-4-2 second, my 4-4-2 formation, the second version, whenever I have a CDM, I always say cut passing lanes, stay back once I can cover center. I think that's just the norm. Unless, unless you, unless you want them to play, go get forwards and fair enough, but you don't need Allen to go forward because you've got five players ahead of him to get forward, all right? And Allen will sit outside the box. So if you do lose the ball, your center mid will be there. Have a really good ball playing CDM, all right? Allen is not exactly the best of them all, but he did a job for me, especially in my last um, my last game. And I have Alexandra on stay back while attacking, especially when I use narrow formations. I'm sorry, my fullbacks, Alexandra and Edmund, so I'll stay back while attacking because... I will be the one to say, right, now bomb forwards, all right? Because I've got so many players going forward, I've got five players going forwards, all right? I want, I, I don't need them, I don't need my fullback to attack this year. I will tell them, using my instructions um, on the D-pad to tell them to go forwards as well. And obviously, comes for crosses and sweep a keeper. Now, what, what formation did I, and I said this in all my videos, right? I did it previously. What formation did I, did I use a lot to help me get um, to elite? What was the main formation? Because I already mentioned I used the 4 one 2 one 2 in my last three games, all right? But what was the main one? What was the main formation that I used to um, to get to Elite? And it was the 4 4 2 second version, all right? And I, again, I'm going to give thanks to my, my, my boy George, who said to me, Don, you need to go back to your reason. When I went in for my game on Saturday, I had a terrible time on Friday, 4-2, I had to switch up my tactics, went back to, I even, I tried the 4-2-3-1. I know it's a popular formation. I've seen pros use it. Everyone's using it. I tried it, you know, and it, I did I did get wins, but it just was not working for me in weekend league. I went back to my roots, back to the 4-4-2, and I hit, and 4-4-2 and second version for me. This one here helped me clutch out so many games on Saturday and especially on Sunday as well.
all right and then i then it's, there were some games where i used when i came up against really good opponents i went into the 4 one 2 one 2 second version i want to see what the big deal was i see bateson you guys know bateson all right i see bateson use the 4 one 2 one 2 all the time I'm thinking why is this guy not using the 4 one 2 one 2 everyone else is doing the 4 2 3 one what's the special about the 4 one 2 one 2 so i thought you know what let me give it a go all right but i'm gonna i'm gonna adjust the custom tactics so it meets my needs all right I'm not going to take someone else's custom tactics and be like, all right, let me see if it works. No, I'm going to build my own custom tactics and build it to the way that I like. Balance, five, five, three, long ball, five, and five width, um, six players in the box. I'm going to build it to I want. I could make it incredibly defensive, but I get ridiculed for being a, a coach that likes to part of the bus. So there you have it, ladies and so gentlemen. That is the end of today's video. I really hope this video helped you, uh, whether whether you take it. I did not, it wasn't a uh, tips video, so I wasn't throwing so many tips. You just give me some advice here and there. But as well as I hope the custom tactics are helping you, let me know in the comments, um, that comment section down below. I hope they can take you from one rank to another um, as well. And let's hope I don't I get some good rewards as well. I am going to be opening my rewards. I'm not too sure whether it's going to be um, on Twitch or I'm going to upload it on YouTube. But I will let you know. I am, st I am f uh, still working uh, full-time and, and doing content creation. So the, the full-time work has to take a bit of priority at the moment. But I am trying my best to push as much content as I can to help you guys really improve um, in FIFA, especially in the in Ultimate Team and Weekend League. So guys, if you do like this video, please don't forget to drop a like on this video, subscribe and put the bell on so you know when my videos are uploaded onto the channel. And I, I, I'm, on, I'm on Twitch as well, so don't, come, don't forget to come and check me out on Twitch. I would love to meet you guys, and I'll see you at the next upload. Peace.